That is VK7VZ. And uh, just a quick video to show the uh, water cooled amp. It's uh, running an MRF X1K80H Elding Moss, um, which is basically from uh, EB104RU out of Russia, from uh, Victor. Uh, fully filtered, uh, 183 to 6 meters. We've got uh, voltage there, which is coming from a, a brand new or new old stock uh, flat pack 2, LTEC flat pack 2. Um, we're running 53.9 volts and uh, temperature is 33.1. Uh, doesn't flicker on the front panel. You're only seeing it flicker because of the way an iPhone does the video. But uh, I've got that running into the MFJ. Um, and now just bear in mind in sideband, it, it does a capture, release, capture, release. So um, it doesn't show true PEP power. Um, it's sort of at any point of its capture it will show the power it was seeing. So it's a pretty shitty idea MFJ, you want to fix that up. Um, and the meters, the needle meter is pretty slow. Sitting on top of this we've got uh, one of these tiny uh, spectrum analyzers and uh, I'll show you that now. We go onto the uh, Icon 7300 uh, we're running what 42% now if I turn the PTT off we key up now we're looking at uh, the carrier from um, 14 megs from the 7300 going through the amp we, we bypass so you can see that the carrier is nice and clean we're looking right out to 60 megs uh, I think from 3 megs out to 60 megs so um, that's the radio on its own, obviously, and uh, we're at 42%. Now, um, we are measuring power at the antenna socket after the filter. So because we're in bypass, we're sort of measuring the power coming out of the radio. So uh, MFJ says 33.7. Um, this is saying 30. And uh, the ICOM is at uh, 42%. So um, I've had the bird on it. The bird and the MFJ are almost identical. Um, probably because MFJ calibrated to the bird, who knows. But um, anyway, so that's the radio keyed up with no amplifier. So what we'll do is we'll turn the PTT on. Key up. Okay, so we've got the MFJ showing 1040. We've got 1048 there. And uh, we're still showing it fairly clean. Uh, across the 60 megs. So that's it in RTTY, 7300. Everything looking good. So um, it is a very clean unit. There is, the, the filters in these do an amazing job. Um, especially there is a fair bit of second unfiltered and uh, filtered out as you can see. There's nothing there. It's, it's nice and quiet. Okay, so we've got a sideband. Um, put this one here to sideband, upper side. Um, bear in mind that this, this thing produces just on 1200 watts, is where I've set it up. So we're seeing the power after the filter. Uh, I prefer to do it that way. I mean, it, it will show the full 1200 watts before the filter, but that's, you know, really that's for the pub talk, isn't it? Because um, you've got to filter these things and we've got to see the power after most amps like the SPE 1 KFA I had and that was showing you power before the filters and then when you put a meter after it you're only ever seeing about 880, 850 at most um, but you were overdriving that, that SPE. So I like to set this thing up so we're getting our 1200 at, at the devices. I know that because uh, I measured what the devices were coming out um, before the filters. And then, um, you know, it's, I like the idea because you can turn the PTT off and see how much power, uh, testing one, two, one, two, one, two, you know, go back to R2TY. But you know, we, you can see the output power uh, of what the radio is actually doing. Whereas if I was measuring the power on the front panel before the filter, you wouldn't see any of this because it's all bypassed. Anyway, we put it back on again and 
Uh, we can see what do we get? 128 there, 139, 131. You know, they're close enough. It's very hard to get one of these meters to read right at 100 all the way out to 1K. Most meters, for example, you find that they're a little bit out somewhere. They're not 100% right all the way across. Even a bird um, has a calibration of plus or minus 15%. So, um, but anyway, let's get into it. We, we go back to here, we go back to uh, SSB. Of course, we're on 20 meters. Uh, we are running into the dummy load over there. And I've got the fan output of this flowing across the dummy load, um, keeping it nice and cool. Okay, well here we go. Uh, we're running, um, you know, about 30 odd watts, roughly. P, 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 about 30 watts into the amplifier. And uh, we're easily making our thousand. As I said, the MFJ does this capture release thing, but if I key out, um, and then come up and see, there you go, it captures 11.27. Um, you know, whether you're getting that peak quite at 11.27, who knows. But uh, we're definitely making over a K. We can see the needle up here. We key out, and then we key up, and then, you know, there you go. Uh, we do have protection, um, overcurrent protection. For example, that we'll key out again. If I just wind the power up to say 52, uh, which is going to exceed the current protection and start talking, there you go. We see we've lost our 50 volts. 50 volts is gone. Um, because we're still in key up mode, we're not going to see any output power at all. But uh, if we reset, talk softly, no, we still tripped out. So what we'll do is we'll bring this back to say a 40 percent go back in here and uh, look at that we're back up to it so you really you really can't blow this device up you'll trip out the uh, unit every time and of course if uh, you're running poor SWR um, you're going to draw more power and it's going to trip out as well so uh, it, it's pretty well protected You'd have to be an absolute goose to blow one of these up. But um, as you can see here, she's uh, happily making the power. And uh, all you're seeing here is the primary. And um, everything's good. Well, this one's got to go because I'm uh, about to start another project. And uh, it'd be nice to make some space in the van. So if this is something that uh, might appeal to you, um, let us know. And this is VK7VZ.